we're here with Garrett Brown. Hey there, Garrett. Um, yep. let, let's just start with, uh, just tell me about yourself. I know you're in Seattle. How long have you been in real estate? Yeah, I've been, been in real estate eight years and uh, live in Seattle, Washington. It's, it's a great place to be and grew up in Salem, Oregon. So about four hours south of here and um nice and do you run a um is it do you run a team are you part of a team or are you on your own yes yes to all three so i'm part part of a brokerage and uh you know that that helps so part of my principal brokers team but then i also run my own team with a, a buyer's agent an inside sales person that makes calls and a, and a transaction coordinator so in inside of the brokerage have my own little team which is nice to kind of have it from top down from, from the boss to me and then in my own uh, little group as well. Been a member of Agent Legends for about nine months now. And the main reason why I joined um, was from my principal broker who's on the board of directors at Zillow. He gets a bunch of premier agent uh, Zillow leads. And so that was one of my draws to join in the brokerage was um, being able to really convert these leads and everything. But when I was started doing Zillow advertising and I, and I do 2000 bucks a month on it. Uh, so it's, it's a, it's an important part of my business. I was having trouble, you know, uh, retaining the leads and, and everything. So I, I wanted to join agent legend to have a drip campaign in place. Uh, so that's kind of the, the big reason why I joined and it's been a huge help in my business, um, for those leads specifically. Yeah. What was your business like before you came on to agent legend? Yeah. So, so before agent legend, it, um, it had been a lot of referral based business, which is a good place to start, but now eight years in and having a team, I needed to really work, work, um, you know, the different leads and everything. So it's, it's have switched from just referral to a lot more of the Zillow leads. And then also to, with this inside salesperson, I make a lot of neighborhood calls and, um, for sale by owner and expired lead calls with him. And so that's been a big help too, to have the campaigns going for for sale by owner expired and then the Zillow connected leads, having all those different campaigns with my own wording. You know, it's, you, you, you've got the templates that, a, that agent legend has, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You know, they've kind of got everything that you can start with, but I've tweaked and, and made it my own wording and included uh, monthly updates and everything like that. So I've really been able to work my, now my past clients with a follow-up monthly campaign, but then especially um, the Zillow connected leads for me and my buyer's agent, and then the for sale by owner and expired leads for the inside sales person. Nice. With the ongoing, I mean, with the ongoing text and, and email as well. Yeah. Well, that makes me, uh, you know, I want to go back to what you said. You, you said you were spending uh, 2000 a month on Zillow ads and thanks for sharing yeah. that by the way. I know that's going to be, oh, yeah. this is good, good, good info. Um, right. When did you, how, how, had you been spending 2000 a month before you signed up with us and how long, how long before that had you? Yeah. So I'd, I'd spent about a thousand dollars a month for two years. And again, it was just, it was just hit and miss with no, no follow up. And then once I got my systems in place, it was, it was, um, kind of a funny story too. I had told my principal broker, Hey, I want to increase my ad spend. And his first response was, you know, isn't, isn't your plate full with what you have now? Are you able to convert these leads? And I said, yes, actually. And here's, here's my template for what I'm going to do. This is, this was January one of this year. Um, so I'd art, I'd been with agent legends uh, for a month or two. And I said, I've just signed up with agent legend. Here's their system and process. Here's the coach that I'm meeting with. Here are our goals and everything. Here's what I want to see from Zillow and how agent legends can help me convert this year. And then he said, great. Sounds good. Absolutely. You know, increased increase the ad spend. So it was, it was kind of funny, almost, almost from my, my principal broker, a pullback of rather than, rather than saying, Oh yeah, definitely, you know, definitely do it is, is like, well, how are you going to convert? Are you sure that you want to increase your ad spend? Um, so it was good to be able to show here's my plan in place. Here's the processes that I'm taking uh, to be able to get it done. Yeah, that's, that's really useful. Thank you. And yeah. I actually want to ask you about you know, you were spending a thousand bucks a month on Zillow specifically for some time before you, you were even introduced right. to the platform. Uh, I think there are a lot of people in that, a lot of people in that boat and there's, you know, a lot of success to be had in that boat, right? Like that's excellent. Can you just um, tell us a little bit about what, what did your day to day look like? 
how did you go about working with that, those leads that you were getting for a thousand bucks a month? I know, I, mm -hmm. you know, the, the beautiful thing is that it's profitable. It, it, it's still, right. Right? even if, even if you don't do it as well as you know that you should be and the experience around that and you're somebody who's been doing it and you were doing it by yourself and with the help of some people. So just anything you you could share around that. Yeah. Yeah. So to the point of, you know, for it's, it's so much of your, it, you're working your business reactively instead of proactively, which we don't necessarily like, but it, it kind of is what it is. So you're, you're reacting to these little leads and at about a thousand bucks a month for the, and again, it changes from area to area and how much, you know, uh, price points are and how many other agents they have. Um, the zip codes that I'm in, I was probably getting two or three leads a week, um, which then turns into, you know, thank you for your call. Yes, I'm happy to show you that house, but it's not my listing. I'd want to work with you on either if it was this place or anything else you find, no matter what, are you connected with the realtor? And then it's, well, I'm probably going to use my friend, but can't you just show me the house? Or now, now, especially in the state of Washington, since March 15th, we haven't had uh, any open houses. So the governor's mandated, you know, only showings with a broker, which it, it's, it's funny because it gets those people that are looking on Zillow or wherever else that they have to be connected to a realtor in order to show the house. You know, they can't just go to open houses and, and do their own thing, but it's tough because then people are saying, well, can't you just show me the house? So I'd be happy to, if you want to work with me moving forward, I advertise on Zillow to try to meet new buyers like you and um, if, you know, if you already have a realtor in mind, I'd reach out to them. Or if you have questions on this one, you know, contact the listing agent. Okay, fine. Click you and hang up. But which is fine with me because it's a volume, it's a volume game. And, you know, if you chase, chase the first one, or, you know, if you chase any lead just for the sake of chasing it, you're going to get burned. And I've, I've been burned plenty before too, of, of them saying, um, you know, we're not really tied to any realtor. We don't care. You know, just apathetic about who the realtor is. And it's like, okay, well, if you're going to treat me like someone that's going to open doors, yes, I can open doors for you and show you places and hopefully we get something locked up. But then they're just as, as comfortable with saying, Hey, you showed me seven houses over the weekend, but we're going to go with someone. But then we looked at this on Tuesday night and we're going to go with them. So, um, yeah, it's, thank you. It's, yeah, I know that's, I know that you that's know, the that's game <laughs> bit that you said there is something that so many can relate to and appreciate. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you. And yeah, absolutely. And so like you said that you'd heard uh, about agent legend before you came on. Um, what were your feelings about it, about agent legend prior to becoming a customer? Was there any skepticism or did you have any concerns when you first heard about it? Just any, any of that? Totally. Yeah. And in my, my skepticism or concern with agent legend, and it would be agent legend or, or any sort of platform is, am I giving up control that then will come off as inauthentic? That was my biggest concern. And yes, I've got to be able to give up control to grow my business, but does it come at the expense of not responding to my, to the right people and letting stuff fall through the cracks or it comes off super generic. Um, so being able to have, being able to have those, and I, and I've stayed away from that type of marketing. That's here's the update on fall recipes or desserts, or here are the football games, you know, this season. I've stayed away from those generic stuff because I want it to be authentic to me. And so my, my concern before signing up with agent legend is, is it still going to be my voice while freeing me up to grow the business and to be in two places at once and to have ongoing, you know, ongoing marketing. So that was the biggest, biggest thing for me. Thank you. Yeah. That's, um, that's, that's an awesome, awesome point. Mm -hmm. And what is it that happened as a result after you joined? As a result, after I joined, I was able to systemize um, my, like I was saying, the, the Zillow leads, the for sale by owners and expireds, and then in bringing on this, um, so it's, it's twofold. In, in working with the for sale by owner and expireds, I was able to bring on this inside salesperson and say, here are, here are all these leads each week that I've been calling. And then I'm, the first ask is just for, uh, you know, do you want to join our weekly zoom call to talk about market updates, what it would be? You know, it's, it's a, a little different, you know, for sale by owner is great. You, you give it a, a couple more weeks to sell on yourself. Awesome. We'll be here. If you have anything, join our zoom call weekly zoom call with a PowerPoint on market updates, what we would do tips and tricks, how we, how we prep and market. And then for the expireds, it's, 
it's, you know, or canceled leads. It's, it didn't work out with your old realtor. Here's what we would do. Here's our processes. When, when, and now may not be the right time to go back on the market, you know, plan, plan for whenever that phase is. Cause if they cancel or expired, they're probably burned by their old realtor and they don't know when they're going to go back on the market. So <clears throat> by working those two types of, two types of leads and having the systems in place, I was able to then say, Hey, inside salesperson, I'm going to step out of making those, I'm going to step out of making those calls and inputting all the data. You do it. You, you reply back with the follow-up system and then I'll kind of only be there for the weekly zoom call. And then any sort of market analysis that happens and, and listing meeting that happens from there. Um, I love that. I love the, mm -hmm. um, I love the, the weekly zoom call. I think that's really yeah. a smart way to leverage your time. Um, and, you know, group, group the people into one place so that you can, uh, you know, you could be in a, in, in a place of authority and teaching. I love that. Um, and exactly then, right. yeah. oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say it, it, it just makes it so that instead of, again, living, um, you know, proactively instead of reactively and running our business that way, it's, I know Mondays at three o'clock is for sale by owners. Monday at three 30 is expired. And there's going to be follow up after that but I can have, I, I was able to put a blueprint in place that I could bring on a new hire and say, here's how you're going to, you know, someone that just, that just got their license and here's how they can generate business, you know, while working together. Um, and, you know, leaning on me to say, Hey, we've been in the business, you know, eight years and here's how, here's the volume that we do. And here's the number of deals per year, but we work together as a team. And so to have, you know, freeze up my time to get out of that shows him a pathway to getting deals and getting deals right away rather than just working, um, you know, just his referral base or, um, you know, whatnot. So, yeah, yeah, that's amazing. And let me ask you, I know there was a cool, um, you know, it's the way that you and I got introduced. There was a cool mm -hmm. experience that you'd had with Zillow. Um, I'd love to, I know a lot of people are going to love to love to hear about that if you're comfortable sharing it. Yeah, no, totally. And, and I can, I'll, I'll send you the information on it, but uh, when you, when you advertise Zillow premier agent, you have a chance to be best of Zillow is what it's called. And it's, they, they give out, uh, when they connect you to a Zillow lead, they'll then send survey Zillow on the back end will say, Hey, we connected you with Garrett Brown at real property associates, you know, different in different, you know, realtor from us. But how has your experience been at day one, day 14 and day 45 with his responsiveness, you know, likeliness to work with them, customer service, you know, everything like that. So, and, and, and again, I've been advertising on Zillow for two years before doing Agent Legend and then had always gotten close to this. And you have to be in the, the, the top 10%, you know, get a score of 90% of or higher. And I was always sitting right at 88 or 89%. And I don't know exactly how they run their algorithm on their back end, but they, they told us that, hey, we sent out this survey day one, 14 to 45. So I set up my agent legend Zillow campaigns to email out right away. And then on day 13 and on day 44 to then um, have it so that they were getting contact from me the day, you know, a day before of leading up to the Zillow review or, or Zillow email. So that then we were probably interacting over the course of that day. So that then when they get the email the next day from Zillow, how's his responsiveness, how's his customer service been? they are likely to give a higher score. And then that's what then helped me get to have the tagline of the, of the best of Zillow um, underneath my name, which again, it's just, it, it's one of those things where left to my own devices or try, you know, trying to reinvent the wheel, I would it just was never able to get that. But then by um, automating my systems and using, you know, leveraging what agent legend can do with being able to connect and then start that timer right away, it's helped a lot. Wow. Thanks for sharing that. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, and what is that worth? What's the best of Zillow worth? When is it that you got that, the badge? Yeah. Uh, when is it or what is when it? Did they get, uh, when did they give you, when did they award you the badge because of the feedback surveys? Yeah, it was um, August 1st of this year. And they do it, um, they do a review quarterly. So I've got to make sure to stay in that top, uh, you know, that top 10% every quarter. And then it just, it just goes to show, you know, when I'm, when I'm meeting with different people and again, it helps on the listing side or the buyer side just shows, um, you know, proof of concept, I guess that, that, uh, here's, here's past 
past deals I've done and everything like that. So it's, uh, yeah, just, it's just a bad, just to just sep- separate myself from the competition to say, I'm not, I'm not just a realtor. I'm not just a door opener. Here's the type of experience that you'll get from working with me. Here's my processes. Does it fit? You know, are we a good fit to work um, with each other? And kind of just, just like what I was saying of my principal broker, when I said, I want to add to the Zillow, you know, to the Zillow ad spend, he kind of pulled back to check in. I'll, I'll do that same thing. Now, you know, now I can come from a point of, instead of chasing the lead to say, here's how I work. Uh, here's my processes. Is this a good fit for you? They may say yes. And then I can still, I still have the opportunity now to say, you know, nope, it's not, you know, I'd, I'd recommend you work with someone else or, you know, best of luck to you. Um, but it, you know, we're not a good fit for each other. And, and now I can afford to say that. And not that I want to, um, you know, piss people off or make people mad, but it's, it's always the time value of money and realtors are overpaid for the deals that go well and underpaid for the deals that don't go together. And it all ends up evening out, but it's, it's finding the right people to work with and that you want to be in business with. That's so, uh, so true. Such wise words. Um, I want to ask you since, you know, it's been about a month and a half, I guess. Yeah. Here we are in the middle of September since you've had that badge. Um, can you speak to what that's been worth? Is it, is it, I mean, are you noticed, uh, uh, more leads, higher quality leads? Like what, what is, what has that badge from Zillow translated to as far as you could tell right, right now? It's as far as I can tell, it's more of, you know, an online brochure of, you know, my, my business. And it's, it's gotten some, you know, congratulations from past clients and, and past referrals and friends and family. Um, it has helped with the, the new people to, to share that story and to say, I'm not, I'm not just talking about this. Here's, here's the example. And here um, are the things. So I'll always include it in, again, with, with my agent legend intro email on all, on all platform, you know, all the different campaigns that I have through agent legend, I'll include my um, Zillow review page and then they'll, I'll point out the the best of Zillow uh, based on customer service score, you know, reviews and scores. So I've just used it again, like kind of like an online brochure uh, about me. Yeah. Uh, and then can, can I also ask you, you said in the, in the, in the beginning, I thought it was so smart yeah. that you, you know, you found out when Zillow strategically um, emails these people for their feedback and you purposely right. set an agent legend follow up to go out the day before. So that way you'd be fresh on their minds. Mm-hmm. Um, can you just high level, let us know what it is that you say in that, in those strategic emails from your part? Absolutely. And, and I'd, I'd recommend it to any realtor and be happy to share any information I have with any other realtor. Cause it's all, it's, there's no secret to it and we're all working in different markets or we're all working different people. So I'd, I'd be happy to share anything. Um, you know, the, the first one on day one is, is really kind of that here's my processes. Here's how I'd like to work. I'll provide with you the, the market stats and the data that you need to make an informed decision and a, and a confident decision moving forward. Here's my, here's my Zillow profile with my reviews about me, past sales, all that. That's the day one. Um, and then the uh, couple weeks in and then the month and a half in, it just is just more follow up of, of, Hey, we talked a couple of weeks ago about this property. And again, these are all stuff that agent legend can do to, to make it look specific, but it's, it's generic. Uh, you know, we talked about one, two, three main street are, you know, were there any other questions you had like that or were there similar properties worth checking out? You know, cause uh, again, in, in the, in a low inventory market, anything's on for a week and then gone. So it's not necessarily about it's, it's getting people out of the mindset of Garrett can only help me with that one specific property to, Garrett's an all-encompassing realtor and, and can do it all. Um, so there's that piece. And then the day 44 is a, uh, an email with uh, market stats for the past month. So I, I, I change up that email each, each month, but it's just, it's just copy and paste of update from the title company I get on the market stats and then speak to the market stats and have a you know call to action of, um, you know, what can I be doing to help you out? How, you know, how do you see this number? Because we, we can all interpret stats and uh, supply and demand a little differently for each person's situation. So it, it's just a conversation starter. And that conversation starter is important to have the day before this Zillow review goes out so that they feel connected and loved on. Um, and at the same time, it, it's, it's a chance to, 
to, you know, connect with the people and circle back and, and say, not just, did you have any questions about that one property, but what can I be doing for you all together? That's incredible. Thanks for being so transparent with that, man. So yeah. it sounds like, you know, you've got day one, which is your direct follow-up. You've got day 13, which is a, hey, we talked a while back and you like to personalize that with the property address. Right. <laughs> and then on day, day 44, and I think this is like gold, you go out of your way every month to change it so that it's relevant with market stats. Mm -hmm. So you're not, it's yep. not the same stale email with old information. So it's actually valuable. It's updated. And then that way, um, I think it's brilliant because you're hitting people with three different angles. It's not the same, hey, just checking in, just checking in, just checking in. It's like, right. and then I also liked that your, um, your day 44 email had social proof from you know, other past customers of yours, other things that people say about you. So I think, yep. uh, man, congr congratulations. Th number one, thanks for sharing that. And being so Absolutely. Number two, like you are the, um, you are the, uh, an amazing example of, of what a, a committed, hardworking, um, strategic mind can do. It's like you're all those things and, um, you know, no, no one can take that away from you. Right. Like, right, right. And, and I, I appreciate that. And too, like the, the, uh, you know, reminder to other realtors or lenders or, and whoever works, you know, with agent legends, it's, it's not overnight thing to yes. Yes. It's strategic. And yes, it was thought, thought through and planned out, but the results aren't, you know, on day one or month one. I mean, this was, this was a nine, you know, nine months with that Zillow thing specifically before the fruits of the labor are there. And yes, you know, you, you, you see stuff on day one, by freeing up your time and um, having systems in place, but it's always, it's, it, it gets harder before it gets easier. And then you may not see the results right away either. So mm. just, it's, it's a re reminder folks of, of don't, don't compare yourself to other people in the, in the business and, and don't give up too soon either. So how, you know, have your plan in place and stick to it and uh, you know, work it. Let me, um, yeah, you, you brought up a good point that I want to get your, your thoughts on. Uh, yeah. Right? Who, who would you say that Agent Legend is for and you would recommend it to? And then also, would you say that, who would you not recommend Agent Legend for? That's a good point. So I would, I'd recommend it to, um, and it, it doesn't necessarily matter which industry, but it's the, the type of, of you know, person you're, you're going after. Uh, it's been great for you know, realtors and lenders that, want, that work a larger database that needs to be in two places at once you know and needs needs follow up that is um planned and planned out and set it and forget it so again that doesn't matter if that's realtors lenders um insurance people and anything else like that so it's it's great for a, a high volume um so you want to have so the um the, the the real estate agents and lenders specifically you'd want to have um I mean, you'd want to, you'd, you'd want to have a foundation. You'd want to have leads. You'd want to have right. a need for planned follow-up. Yeah. Yep. And yep. then on yep. the contrary, is it the, um, I mean, I, the people that don't have the leads, the people that don't have a need for that kind of follow-up because they're not at that place in their business. Right. Or, or if you say I'm, I'm very specific to referral only and I have my CRM that I like and I don't need to add anything else or, or adding something like an agent legend would just make you conf confused and throw you off base. And I, I wouldn't recommend it to someone that, that, um, you know, has, has a, a good CRM now and they want to make sure that they're doing the personal touch. I felt like agent legends been able to, um, combine personal touch and automation in the right way that I'm comfortable with. But again, that was, that was back to my, my hesitation initially is, is does it take me out of the business? And I felt like it, it hasn't, but I, I wouldn't recommend it for someone that, um, is is working a, a small database that really focuses on uh referrals it it probably isn't isn't the best but agent legend's been the best for me in the higher volume zillow for sale by owner expireds and i still i still have a past client um campaign in there and those that that monthly stats updates that goes out to past clients as well and it's it's pretty similar to the one that i send on the day 44 of the zillow leads of here's what's been going on the market how do you see it? You know, let me know, um, you know, what I can be doing for you. So 
yeah, to, an to answer your questions, Agent Legend's great for someone working a high volume database. It's not great for someone working a s smaller referral um, database. And thank you, Garrett. Um, Absolutely. Is there a, uh, you know, I, I, did, I, I didn't even ask you this when we first did yeah. it, only if you're comfortable. Is there a yeah. way that somebody, is there a best way someone can get in touch with you if they want, whether it's to, I mean, you know, you're doing amazing things in your area. Maybe they want to, maybe they want to join you or, you know, you'd mentioned totally. you're happy to, maybe it's sharing campaign or, you know, collaborate. Yep. Would you be open to sharing any? You want to email you or, yeah. Yep. Yep. Email call um, is, is the easiest and we can share my information. Um, also the, the other way to, to reach out to me is the North Northwest estate team is our little group. And so it's nwestateteam.com, and that has that has a, a contact form on there. So that's really probably the best way. But yeah, happy to share my phone number and email, and we can have it you know pop up, or or you can put it in the in the notes there. But would well, be that's more okay. If you th if you say that the best way to, for someone to get in touch with you is to fill out the contact form on nwestateteam.com, and those will go to you. Um, that's yep. really generous yep. of you. I know that exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, exactly right. I'd be, I'd be happy to share uh, anything with anyone in, in the in the business, and it's a it's a big, big world out there. So I'd be happy to help other other realtors succeed, or you know, any yeah, any questions. And then and then of course, yeah, like you said, of of wanting to to join the team or say, hey, could I be could I be working this from afar? And I, you know, I'll say absolutely, we can we can make it work. So yeah, that's that's the best way to to get in touch. And, um, what, what can I be doing for agent legend and, and you and your guys' business? Oh gosh. Well, I mean, you're, you, you're doing it right now. Thank you. This is gonna, um, you know, just, you're being so generous with what's working and, um, and, and transparent and wanting to help. Right. And you're, you know, telling our team member about the success, which led to you and I connecting like this, right. is, um, you know, I'm very grateful for it because number one, we know, you know, it, it's how we know how our members are doing. And number two, there are, um, you know, there's a slew of just amazing people just like you who um, they're going to benefit from hearing this and, and they're yeah. going to want to collaborate with you and you're going to collaborate with them. So I, this just fulfills a big, um, you know, people je who are generous like you fulfills like a big value that I have for our company, which is just to uh, have a community where, um, mm -hmm. you know, like-minded individuals are sharing successful strategies and just helping each other. And so I can't thank you right. enough for that. People are going to, a lot of people are going to be helped and are going to uh, love this. And um, you're going to make a lot of friends this way and you deserve to. And, and uh, you know, I want to thank you. You know, it's um, the reason why, the only reason why we're able to help our members get incredible results, you know, for the last five and a half years at this point is just because um, you know, you are, you're doing incredible things on your own. You have a foundation of success and, you know, we're just helping you do what you do better. So can't thank you enough, Garrett. And to Thanks anybody that, um, that's, that's listening to this right now in the recording, um, uh, you can go ahead and um, if you're an Agent Legend member, you can go ahead into your members area, find a, find a library. Um, you can contact Garrett uh, just for whatever personal connection might be worth nwestateteam.com in the contact area. And uh, if you're not an Agent Legend member yet, uh, we have a free trial that you can just join and sign right up for. So thank you very much. And thank you, Garrett. Yeah, thanks, Costas. Appreciate it. And uh, have a great day.